Yeah, well, we didn't deserve to lose it. But uh, in recent weeks, we've made mistakes defensively, which have cost us individual mistakes or maybe a goalkeeping mistake has cost us. Today, I felt as if our mistakes came that we didn't take the chances or create the chances in the openings when we had them. So that would be the disappointment. Apart from that, I thought the players done a great job, played very well, uh, made several good chances, but uh, we couldn't convert them today. Did you get a chance to see the goal again? Uh, I was looking at it a little bit on the on the iPad at the time and don't know what you want me to say, you know, somebody makes a decision and it's supposed to be correct now, so I'm really stuck for words, I've got nothing really really exciting to say or give you a line on it at all. That must be very frustrating, the, the chances you did have, I mean, you could have been three other half-time Yeah, I felt that we, we should have been in front, I thought we had played well. We didn't start the second half as well, but I thought that after the first 10, 15 minutes of the second half, we grew back into it again and looked more lightly. So I've come here, I mean, maybe in some ways I've made as many chances here at Arsenal as I've made in a long time. And I think that's a disappointing thing. But we, that was where the mistakes, I was alluding to, the mistakes came from not taking the chances or not making the right choice of pass to, to, to score. Which for us at the moment, you know, is nearly as bad as you know a goalkeeper making a mistake or, or a defender slipping over or doing something. So we have to try and make sure that when we get get that way, we uh, we take them. David, is the dressing room deflated after not picking up a point, or is it very much positive um, and things to take forward into next week? Well, I think they played really well. The players, I told them that. I thought the players played really well. You think they were performers at Liverpool? We played well there, we played well against Southampton and we played well today, but we only took three points in the three games. So I've sort of said is, I'm pleased to say well done, but I'm not going to keep saying uh, well done until we start getting points. I'd nearly rather start playing not so well but winning because that's what we need, we need the points. But you couldn't fault the players for effort or commitment or their attitude. Everything, everything was spot on. Quality at times, yeah. But not none of the none of the big things which, if you're a supporter of the club, you're coming to see. And I thought the players gave all that and more. Did you enjoy going up against Mikel for the first time? Uh, not when I lose, no. Uh, but look, Mikel will go on to be a very a very successful manager. I've got no doubt about that. Uh, I just hoped it wouldn't have been today. It's frustrating because you, I know you've won a game here as a manager. But this is pretty as close as you've ever come today, isn't it? No, we've come close here quite a few times. You know, today was close as well, but uh, it's always been a difficult place. They've always had good teams, good players, Arsenal. Today we had a chance, and we, but maybe for a couple of things going away, a decision, you know, very good referee and linesman gave offside, uh, but somebody else chose to change their mind. Is that the, is that the annoying thing for you most of all? Or whatever, yeah. Even when you look at it, the three minutes or the full time really disheartening. Uh, look, I think it's the one rule which everybody says is sort of factual. So it's very, some people would agree with it, some wouldn't. So I, I'm not here, I've not getting really to talk about it because it's, it must be given as a go because I'm guessing that people who factually look at these things, but there's a good chance next year it might not be given as a go because maybe we change the rules next year. But is it difficult to pick up Antonio after that? He's played well, he's, he's actually created a few of the chances for himself, mm -hmm. but... Finishing's not quite been there today, and sort of he was involved in probably about three of them, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think Mickey gives us so much and offers us, you know, so many things. And he's, I have to say, how he's improved. You know, his his fitness levels are up. You know, he's he's his games up as well. He's improving. But you know, just if you're talking about the big games and the moments, you need to, when you get the chances at Arsenal, for example, you would hope you've got to try and take them. Just like the defenders, I've got to make sure that they don't we'll lose any concentration at any time during the game. And uh, I just felt as if we missed up a couple of chances to to score. But Mickey's doing Mickey's doing really well. Just coming back very briefly to the VAR, it's one of the problems with a situation like that is that sometimes once the flag's up. Defenders do say it might stop. Yeah, they, I think they do. I think, I think on this occasion it was strange. You know, sometimes they don't put their flag up at all. So if they'd scored that goal, no, but the flag went up. So it gave me the real feeling that that if you look at the record, what the the PGMO would say is that they get ninety five percent of the decisions right. That's where it used to be when we before. So I thought when the linesman put it up, I said she's got it right, and I and I believe she'd got it right. 
because in a lot of those occasions then you probably wouldn't you know many occasions we're seeing the flags not going up I'm actually pleased she did put it up because I don't like it when they don't put the flag up I think it's uh, I think it'll end up causing injury or other things if we if we allow play to go on at time thank you everyone cheers thank you